we frequently hear from PLCs that the data that they're collecting is, is weeks, if not months old, um, that, that when they go to collect the data, it takes a lot of time, so the, the data comes after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And then when the PLCs look at the data, there's a high, high anxiety. And one of the big reasons is that we're, we're spiraling back a couple of months to fix a problem that was identified on that assessment. So uh, all in learning is going to help you address those issues, uh, whether you're a campus that's trying to turn around or go from good to great. Uh, if you watched our other videos, you know that the data is, is super easy to collect, whether it's with clickers or bubble sheets or student devices. Teachers can scan the student tests with their phones, get immediate data. So already your teachers are saving time in the neighborhood of five to eight hours a week. What we want to implement alongside this data collection is our um, is a quick check and just a really just a weekly quick check uh, we have an acronym for that it's uh, teach assess collaborate and intervene tacky so we want your TLC PLCs <laughs> your PLCs to be tacky so how that works is we're gonna do a five to eight question quiz uh, once a week it may cover one or two standards and then we're going to look at the data. So here's a, here's a quick overview uh, of what the data looks like. So this report right here kind of gives me the bird's eye view of how the classes did. And you can see we've got this customizable performance bucket. So what you can do is you can kind of see where the students are grouped based on their scores. And uh, that's completely customizable. When it comes to collaboration, what we want the teachers to do is look at the data together. So if you see on question two here, this is an item analysis on the test. And on question two, uh, Sandy's class had a 96. My class had a 23. So what's my question to Sandy? Well, how did you teach that? What examples did you use? Now, if we wait six or eight weeks to ask, ask that question, uh, she may not remember how she taught it, and I won't remember how I taught it. So by asking this question the same week that we taught it, we'll both remember it. It's fresh. And it's something that we can more easily fix. And it, this is what lowers our anxiety level looking at the data because we're spiraling back two days, not two months. And then from an intervention standpoint, what we want to look at is who's struggling and where. So the ability to drill into how our students performed on the standards and to see the kids that really struggled, have that identified, and it's so close to when we taught it, that it's much easier to fix. It's fresh for the students, it's fresh for me, and this is something that's sustainable. This doesn't take our nights and weekends. We've actually saved time and we're getting fresh data that we can identify who needs help and where much earlier in the process. So we've worked with tons of campuses that have experienced profound growth and one of their core strategies that they implemented was our weekly quick checks we want your PLCs to be tacky. We want to teach, assess, collaborate, and intervene. We would love to help you on your journey uh, with PLCs and student growth at your campus.